Okay, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Not gonna... Not gonna go on too long, just that we're about ready to enter the mountain pass, which I don't know if that's the next act or not, but... We just gotta tie up a few loose ends here. Because everything else is done. That missing shipment up there. Uh, and then whoever's down here. You know what? Might as well... There's a discussion that we need to have real quick. Um, well, firstly, I might talk to Shadowheart. See how she's doing. May the darkness protect you. Right, 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 right. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? All that's happened? You have a talent for understatement, you know that? Specifics, please. Well, I mean, you know, you must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gift crash will actually prove our salvation. Yeah, probably not. Worth keeping in mind. How am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. All oh, right, yeah, the whole memory thing. What do you think happened to the Druid Grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Right. Uh, what will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Uh, no reason for us not to not stay together if we go get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Uh, family? Friend? A lover? Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. Alright, turn to other matters, goddammit. Well, let's leave then. Fucking... I'll send. I have a lamp. And it's broken. You wish to speak? Doesn't have anything about the fucking... Let me just go through these. I have to ask. How do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards... I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. That reminds Hideous, me. but fascinating. We gotta put another like one in our skull. Nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it, and stop it, I must reach its source. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. How are you faring out here at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first hand. You'll find plenty of books before long. I keep them... I keep coming across them everywhere. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch, thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. All right, let's get out of here before things start getting a little <sighs> erotic. From what I understood, from what I'd read, I thought he was supposed to tell me that this broken lantern that I have, that it's basically useless and we need another one in order to go anywhere. Sunlit wetlands. Just an insect. I'm sure you'll survive. Besides, it probably figured you for a... Tasty treat. 
A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Oh, great. So it's literally fucking impossible. Unless we get an 18. Of course we wouldn't. Of course we wouldn't. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Really gotta up my intelligence, man. Wicker basket. Trump. What? I don't see anything. Ooh. Some blood around here. What's hiding here? Trap. Again, I don't see any traps. The brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Oh no. These killings were deliberately brutal. There's something near that relishes in carnage. Well, I've got an idea. Speak with the dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What killed you? <gasps> Wasn't a sheep. Huh. Something disguised as a sheep, alright. Uh, did you find your sister? Heard her screaming, but not real. Uh, this place seems strange. Anything I should be wary of? Don't drink the water. Got it. All right, let's leave. Don't drink the water. And it's not a sheep. What the fuck? Oh, there's two sheep right there. No harm in a little conversation. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Hmm. And what about the other one? Ba. Ba. Uh. Wait. So which one was? Okay. So that. Then it's this one, right? <laughs> that one just fucking leaped over the. Let's do uh, speak with animals. Look, wait, the TV Can you both stop going into each other? Uh Okay. So there's that one. What the fuck? It's not an actual sheep then. Neither one of them are. All right. Time to rest. Let's see if we can find another way to fuck these up. Whoa. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. What the fuck? What the hell are these? Red cap blood sage? This is one hell of an ambush. Uh What the fuck? Fucking teach you to dodge me, bitch. Ah uh, 
shit. Well, you should definitely hit this person. Yeah, of course, of course you fucking miss. Why would I ever expect you to fucking hit something, Shadowheart? God! You're lucky I'm just trying to fucking... You know what. Holy fuck, 20? Got that fucking bitch. Hit him, please. Jesus Christ. Fucking bastards. Let's move. What do they got? Tattered letter. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad, I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the Hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to ma'am, alright? She has enough on her plate. Marina. <sighs> These poor bastards. Oh wow, that's actually super useful. Thank you very much. Who are you, sir? Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Uh... How good I am, Vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense in my mind. Who are you? Today? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. Uh... Yeah, the lady of this house. I mean, I know who he's talking to, or talking about. He's talking about the fucking bitch that, you know... I don't know. Um... Why would you assume that? Because this is her domain. If you are here, it's because it suits her. Her kind of hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. Speak plainly, what is she? A powerful friend. A terrible foe. That... I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Who is it that you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. What? Maybe I can help with your hunt. Oh, dude. Plus nine. So we just need a fucking six and we can get it. Oh, we fucking destroyed it. Ultimately, I think it matters not that much, but. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. Oh shit! To bring him back to Baldur's Gate. Oh Alive. man! Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Oh shit! We've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You do know him. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. Tell him how to find your camp, uh... I honestly don't know where he is. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. Well... It is to stand by one's friend in the face of danger. As much as I think... doesn't come back to bite me later. Yeah. Literally. Get it? Because he's a fucking vampire? Um... Ultimately, I think Asterion's a fucking absolute cock. But he's part of our crew and I'm not gonna give him up, you know? We started the fucking thing with him. At some point. He might be of use to us, I don't know. I'm guessing these shabby wooden doors are her place. 
Is there anything around? Like, there's nothing. There's nothing else. Can oh, I open oh, these? Shot. I should have saved. Okay. I'm gonna save. After that conversation. Auntie Ethel. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. Marina. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Ah, uh, what? If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hell's of an apology for me, young man. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. What? Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Uh, the lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. Hmm? That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Don't change the subject. Why is that woman really here? I told you that girl is none of your business. Keep that hole under your nose shut. I'm inclined to agree. Let's not involve ourselves in this place any more than necessary. I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. No. This woman is clearly in trouble. What the fuck? You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. What in the... F oh, god damn. Are we fighting her? Invisible. Well, that's great. Uh, how do I fucking make her uninvisible? Is... Would I have anything that does that? She's invisible. Can I not stand, like, defensively or something? <laughs> Poor performance. Awesome. My character is just fucking... playing so badly. There has to be something. She running? Bye bye, lovelies. Pack caught up on far. Hmm. Very well. Is there anything? How can we get back here? Oh, just walk over that shit. Okay. Well, before we do that, is there anything in here of value? What's in here? What the hell is this? Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Hands off, pedal. Uh, Gale? Seek and you shall find me. Nothing. Nothing. I felt disapproves, dearie. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. Alright, well. I guess we'll come back at some other point. Is everybody ready? Let's go. Overgrown tunnel. Uh... Oh, the lights don't follow me. I forgot about that. No. 
the fuck? You are as uh. thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out. Or what? Tell me where Marina is. <laughs> or what? Yeah, that, that was my first. Oh, the cocky ones are my favorite to chew on. Keep going, Pickle, and you'll find out. <laughs> this game is gonna fuck me over, I just know it. Uh, being the cocky fuck is not really something that you could be in this game without, uh... What is this place? Without the game putting you in its place. Or your place. Bro? You okay? No. No! Don't look! Mustn't look, mustn't see! Are you alright? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. I mean, I figured. Me? Dead? Dead? Flesh rotten, bone shining! Hey, man. Uh. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. Lies! Lies! I see it! See truth! See death! All future! Is that so? And what does my future hold? Always asked! Never good! Never see! Never! Gods! Don't hurt me! Oh, please! Please! Please, please, please! Why would I hurt you? Monster! Monster! For mind dripping! Oh. Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! Look at me. Ah. Take a deep breath and roar. Look at me. I'm not a mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Damn it. No intention of running. Hourglass, gnarled door. Whoa. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Jesus Christ, he used to Do live here. You feel it cry. I'm not afraid of that hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door. Shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Damn. He's being punished. Alright, well, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. God damn it. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Yes. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. It, you can just walk through? Away! Away! Um, well, 
What about this? My gentle Lauren. He Don't. wished to know what no. was to come. Don't. What about this? A thief who tried to steal from no. Auntie. Please. Now the good little pet Please. guards my home. Let's have a look at myself. Wait. Wait. Nothing. Doesn't do anything. Hold on, wait a minute, what the fuck? Is that person holding their own head? Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Ugh. That's fucking creepy. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. My sweet Callum. Whose beloved eyes. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Somebody's trapped in there? Jesus Christ. Magrin's head? My darling Magrin. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. What the fuck? Don't look. Oh, 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 but... We, uh, Shadowheart can talk to her, right? Wait, wait. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Is there anything I should know about this place? Why did you go to the hag? My family took her. My baby girl. Pretended she never existed. Told Ethel. Never wanted to see them again. God damn, her tits are huge. Took my eyes. Well, why did your family take your child? That's fucking weird. What can you tell me about Ethel? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters without baby girl. <sighs> okay, well, go be with your baby girl again. Family Where's portrait. Don't my dearest Ethel. He begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. So she turned him to the stone. So it's kind of like a... You ask for some. You get what you ask for? You know, just like finding ways to... Fuck around it? <laughs> Ugh. How the fuck do I get through? If you insist. We just... I just had to move the camera angle? Jesus Christ. Okay, we're inside. Uh, I feel a little bit wary. The amount of people that told me to run. I can keep going a little longer now. Figured I might as well uh, rest. Mask of regret. Mask of vengeance. So she's got people here. Uh, defending the place. Death won't take me. I, I was guessing that they were hostile. Got one. Got one. Holy shit. Absolutely fuck them up. Faded note. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend, she is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. So do not 
Wear the mask, then. I saw one on the table in that other room. I did not pick it up. Part of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Jeez. Poor bastards. Never wanted the easy part. They were all just wearing the mask. That was fucking stupid. What the hell was that? Hey, there's Marina. There, in the cage. Where the fuck is everybody else? Get down there, dude. Shit. What the fuck? Oh man, we're kind of up against time here. Control orb? Fuck, uh... Is there a way to put out the fucking thing? We need to get up here. Where the fuck is Carlac? Oh, I could go for a good meal. Carlac, you stupid bitch. Please work. Yes. Could she get out? What the fuck? Why is she on the battlefield? What the fuck? Okay, this is not... Her. This is the hag. Right? Right? Holy fuck, okay. Alright, alright. Whatever, uh... Luck of the Far Realms. No. Was that Mayrina? Oh my god, no, dude. Are you shitting me? Nah, man, I'm fucking... That's not cool. Not doing that. I had thought that if you did that, <coughs> then, um... It would like, she was obviously one of them, and not the other. But I think it just chose whichever one you decide not to hit. Like, maybe you just have to end the turn. I don't know, but that was, that was not fair, and um, I don't like it. I'm reloading. What the hell? This didn't show up before. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your Bones. All right. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. That's not going to happen. You want the girl so bad. Fine. All right, so maybe we should take all of them out first. And then let her down, because otherwise, we're not gonna know she's gonna switch places. Alright, Cage has 36 out of 52. Alright. Fuck this bitch up. Holy shit. Let her down, let her down, let her down. Come on. Get her out, get her out. Whew. 
You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! What? Uh, this is an interesting way of thanking me. You want thanks? A slap is all you deserve. Oh. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Don't you get it? The hag was never going to help you. She would have. I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all oh this would my. have been over. She was going to trade her baby for her... You were going to trade your baby for your dead husband? Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even. You're fucking naive. More than I could have done. Is that what Ethel told you? She said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Jesus fucking Christ. Can't afford I kind of am curious what um, this fucking bitch has to say for herself. Now that she's dead. The charm on the hag's body flashes a faint glow. Oh, you knuckle-dragging gobshite! You will bleed. You will choke on your own guts for this. Hmm. You're quite lively for a corpse. I'm a hag, you little snot! You think I didn't plan for this? Death and I are old friends. I won't be a corpse forever. That I can bloody promise you. Uh, tell me the truth. What did you want with Marina? I didn't want the girl, sweetie. I wanted her babe. I would have gobbled it up and given birth to my very own hag daughter. Oh my god. To my guts. She would have come. My blood, my bile. It would have been glorious. God. <sighs> what deal did you make with Marina? The brat's husband is dead. So sad. She wanted me to bring him back to life. Little fool thought it would fix everything. I wish I'd talk to her first instead. That way I could tell Marina all the shit she's telling me. Uh... Do you have any regrets? Only that I don't get to see the flesh melt from your bones. Your guts dissolve. And your brain liquefy as you turn into a mind flayer. You'll weep. You'll beg. You'll plead. Anything to make it stop. And once you stand tall, proud, and tentacled, you'll butcher your friends and your loved ones like the elephant scum you are. Uh, why are you so cruel? Please. It's you lot who come to me. All you do is what? To be pretty, to be richer, to be loved. People are their own worst enemies, Petal. I just let them see it. Hmm. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Well, I was just gonna taunt her. But that's good to know, is that you can only answer you can only ask a certain amount of questions. Oh, <sighs> Well, I think we did the right thing. Fuck Marina, she's a terrible mom.
I'll go this way. Uh, her brothers died looking for her. And thank God that hag is dead. Oh, I almost Let's forgot to fucking... Yeah. Almost forgot to fucking take, take our loot. Let's... Right. What now? You carry it. Ooh, god damn! She had some pretty pennies on her. Antidote, basic poison, vigilance. Alright, what's back here? What is this? Sylvan stone? I'll take that. Mushroom circle? Okay, well, hold on. S saving. Blotches of ink are spattered on this unfinished letter written in uneven scrawl. Sister dearest, are you feeling alright, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red caps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting his crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind? You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to viz. Letter to Ethel. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along Kyonthar and would be ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish to him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. And what is this? Huh. Marina. Oh, this is his corpse. Marina, wait, let me talk. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> um, <laughs> whining won't get you any there fast. God, dude, why do I fucking say um all the goddamn time? I feel like such an idiot. Are you all right? Not even a little bit. I will be. Can we please tell her the shit that the hag said? <sighs> Stand with her in silence. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. All right, let's I'm leave her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. Can we open it up? Oh. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. I just wanted to open the thing so I could bring him back to... Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Um, that's fucking lame that we could, like... It, obviously, that'll get us back down there, but... Whatever. Whatever, man. Let's go back to camp. <sighs> Alright, Shadowheart. I need to have you stay behind. Will? You're coming with us again. We need to rescue the Grand Duke. Wait, Moonrise Towers is a popular location, at least for the cult of the Absolute. Perhaps the Grand Duke was taken there too. Oh, okay, so never fucking mind then. What the hell? Is that another- that's another door. Why can I not go through here? It's another fucking door. I have something to ask. Is this guy still insane? Is the hat gone? God! Tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead. You're safe now. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. 
You're the one. The mind flayer. Bro. Not if I can help it. Can you still see it? No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's... It's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming. Covered in your own insides as that... That thing bursts out of your skull. You change. Skin ripping from your body and then you butcher... Everyone. Everyone around you. Well, that's not cool. Be specific. When will this happen? I... I don't know. It could be a ten day. It could be any moment. Hmm. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm... I'm sorry. What about the mirror? glints in the light. The screams from within now silent. Hmm. Alright, well... If we can't get to that guy and everywhere else needs us to go through the fucking... that one spot... We should find the Adamantine Forge in the Underdark. We were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Sovereign. He has come. He is here. Who, oh, me? That's Why is there such a dark shadow on my character? The choir fades. A single melody well, rises above up. the others. Brassy. And commanding. I oh. am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. Well, that's great. The sovereign is threatening you. Hmm. State your purpose. Focus on your parasite and connect with the sovereign. Uh, I didn't fucking save, so that's really cool. The parasite is quiet. You feel no bond with the creature. Uh, why did everybody do that? Um, seek understanding. Focus on the sovereign song. Oh, nice. Yeah, this should should kill it. Detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Ah, I sense fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Well, this is... This is developed quite a bit. Who the hell is that? Oh, there's Dareth. The guy we were trying to find. Um... Saving. So there's a door. Maybe? Somewhere around here? I'll keep looking after, but, uh... Let me talk to Dareth. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Yeah, he's dead. Um, he fucking blew up in a crazy amount of those, um, bubble things. I freed Balin already. He should be back soon. Uh, I met him in a field of deadly mushrooms. He died there. Dead? Worthless old fool. He has one bleeding job. Who is he to you? My husband. Aww. 80 sogging years together. And he leaves me in the lurch like this. He didn't I look 80 years old. Myself. Oh. No love lost between the two of you, I gather. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. 
Balin was a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years before his mind started to go. Softened him up. Made him realize how much he needed me. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. And what are you doing down here? Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Not no more, though. Hmm. And what makes this mushroom so valuable? I've yet met an ailment it couldn't help. Baldness, blindness, poison, piles, and <laughs> piles, hemorrhoids. Dangerously underweight purse. For those of you that don't know, unfortunately, I do. All right, let's leave. I'll find my way out. No point hanging around this den of misery. Yeah, I guess not. Damn it, she's not with us anymore. Can he the pride of the gate. speak to beasts? No? Did we lose our only person that can speak to fucking mean? animals? Hey, good looking. No, she can't. Amico. Time for a natter. Want master back. He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Okay. That was eventful. A lot on my mind. And, well, it is. This place looks fucking super cool. Who the fuck is. Whoa. What is happening? What is happening? What is going on? What is the shaking? What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm gonna go talk to this guy real quick. Blurg? Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. He has a mind flare Blurg. thing. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. What? No, 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 no. I did not mean to press four. I meant Welcome to press one. Back. Have you made any new discoveries? Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's a lot of work, man. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of got lost down here. <laughs> a mind flare infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? <laughs> Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole? It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Everybody Aurelium. does. I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. Whoa, whoa! That's impossible. What the fuck? That's intriguing. That's a mind flare. I'm looking to have it extracted. Uh, an illithid is your friend? How is that possible? I have broken free from the elder brain's yoke. I no longer serve the grand design. I ask that you refrain from violence, while I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. Uh, what is the Grand Design? A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? I feel like Open if anybody your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. I feel like if anybody's gonna be able to help us if we actually wanted help, it's gonna be this guy. 
relax and let Omalu Om Omalums I don't f fuck games and their like convoluted ass fucking names dude like two U's Omalum like like vacuum Omalums whatever man yeah relax as a mellow one's mind a mellow ones. Yours, the tadpole pulses with power it feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. I feel like what happens if that stasis goes away is a pretty obvious question to answer. Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Then what the fuck? That doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. So it, it's just in there? Me. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. I guess tell him about the strange mind player ship that we were on. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Well, thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. I know someone. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. Why would we want to? There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Uh, isn't the stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Uh, bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Yeah, the fucking Timusks head moving. Cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self explanatory. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, should remain intact. A lovely, so where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Great, great. Mm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Lenore? Uh, all right. Where does L this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. That's nice and vague. Um, all right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. 
God damn. Well, it seems like there's a lot more going on than I thought there was going to be uh, in trying to tie things up before we move on to the next part. So, I'm probably going to end this one right here. We've had some rest. Make We're back at camp, and I am going to... Should I do another full rest? Can I end the day? I mean, like, is anything crazy going on? Should I not? I think I can. I'm not... Are there only so many days in the game? I guess we'll fucking find out, you know? Just gonna save. Uh... Long rest. Oh shit, I should do some talking, right? To can't can't fuck with Carlac because she still got that hot engine in her. What about Shadowheart? Shah's blessings upon you. These illithid powers were developing. What do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful, but on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. The odds are stacked against us. Can we truly afford to ignore a potential advantage? Holy shit. Alright, well we need a 11. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Can I use inspiration? Roll again. Come on, just give me an 11. I'll do the rest. Yes! Fuck yeah. Staying on Shadowheart's good side. Well... Perhaps you have a point. Fine. Let's explore these powers then. I just hope we don't come to regret it. Alright, but if we choose this... Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant okay. quite like you. Yeah, she already said that. Alright. Okay, well, let's... Here we go. Go to bed. Damn, we are running very low on camp supplies. We need more. Alright, very cool. And nothing too much has changed. I'll probably swap Will out in the next episode. I thought we were going to be doing a mission that was more important to him, but then it turns out that that's in the next place of wherever the fuck we're going. So anyways, if you made it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest you subscribe because why the hell not? You're already here. Uh, if you liked the video, which I assume you did, given that you stayed this long, Go ahead and leave a like, it helps me out a lot in, in, I, I mean, I know it's kind of just what everybody says, but I assume that it helps. It lets me know I'm doing a good job, and if you don't like what I'm doing, comment and tell me what to do differently. Help me out, give me some pointers. Uh, or just, you know, say what's up. But, regardless, if you do decide to stick around, I hope you see me in the next one.